Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we will see how to read data from Google BigQuery using Python Pandas. Moreover, with a single line of code. So what is BigQuery? So BigQuery is a restful web service that enables interactive analysis of massively large data sets working in conjunction. So simply, a BigQuery is a data warehouse where you can uh, load your data and you can retry your summarized data or for analytics purpose very fastly using BigQuery. So to get your data from BigQuery, we need to install a package pandas gbq. So to install our package, go to Anaconda prompt and make sure you must run it as an administrator. Then you have to run this particular query. It will install pandas gbq, which is Google BigQuery. So once it got installed, you need to launch your Anaconda navigator. See here, I have installed here Conda and install pandas gbq iPhone C. Conda Forge, right? It will install all these packages. Once the packages are installed, then you are good to go ahead and retry your data from Google BigQuery, right? So we'll see first Google BigQuery console. This is my Google BigQuery console. It has multiple projects here. I do have a second project. It has a data set of sample data. Sorry, sample data is my schema. Second project is my uh, data set. This is my schema. Then I do have three tables here. Alexa data, employee data, stock data. And these are public data sets. We are not going to utilize right now. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to be retrieve Alexa data from BigQuery to Python pandas. So let's look at data here. This is my uh, table Alexa data. And if you can query table, run query here, it will uh, show first 1000 records. It's like normal SQL only. Select store from table. Like here, what is the way the table is available? It's available in this particular data set, then schema, then table name. Here I'm limiting my records to 1000 only. Right, now I'm going to be retrieving all my data to pandas. Right, so just launch your Jupyter Lab and go to uh, Jupyter Lab here. And here we do have to import our GBQ first, right? So we are going to be importing pandas as PD. Then from pandas.io, we need to import GBQ. So once GBQ is imported, you can try to run it over here. It just got ran now. So I'm going to be write the same query which I'm trying to utilizing here. So whatever the query, whatever the records you want to retry, you need to write the query here. So I'm passing the query as a variable first, then going to be taking my GBQ package here. It has a read underscore CSV like we do have to read the CSV file. Likewise, read underscore Google BigQuery. First, we need to pass our query, whatever the query we want to retrieve the data, then your project ID. These two are enough to get your data. So what is our Alexa data here? This is my query. I'm going to be passing my query here first. Like uh, if you, to avoid confusion, you just pass only query. And you can pass this query here. Okay, then pass your project ID. What's your project ID? To get your qualified project ID, okay, you need to get, uh, you need to get it from, store, select store from table name. You'll get the fully qualified project ID. This is my fully qualified project ID. So we need to pass that project ID here, right? Then if you're running this very first time, it will go ahead and ask you one token ID in a box and on down to that, it will display one URL. So you just copy your URL and place this into your browser. Once you logged into Google Cloud Platform, it will give you a token and just paste your URL or token in the box and click enter. Then it will go ahead and get the data. So for only for the first time, right? So once the data is read, ready from read from the Google BigQuery, I'm going to be pass my data into Alexa underscore data data frame. 
now I can display my data set here. So let's say I'm trying to display only 10 records here, right? If you can execute this one, now it is reading data from Google BigQuery by using this particular query, right? See here, it read, it read my data from Google BigQuery. See here, what is the record here? Rating, date, variation, verified reviews, then feedback. So if you can have a look at the first record, 31st July 2018. See here, that is black variation, then verified reviews or this one. Item no longer works after just five months of use. And feedback is going to be zero. See here. So this is how we are going to be read data. So let's say, for example, if you want to read data from some other table. So this is my employee table. Let's say my employee table. And I'm going to be querying my table here. Then it will give you my fully qualified uh, table name. See here. Then here we need to pass this particular query. So let's say, for example, I'm going to be copying this one and pasting in some other screen. I'm trying to pass uh, a new variable here. Then get your copy of uh, employee target and replace your query first. Okay. And my project ID is same. Here we need to pass employee target. Right. And if you can execute this one, whatever the records you have in employee T T Z T table, it will display all those records. Let's see here. Just taking a bit time. Meanwhile, we'll go back and uh, view that data here. And if you can run the query. See here, it has six records. And if you can see here, it displays all your six records. Zero to five is nothing but six records. Okay, so this is how you can read the data from Google BigQuery with a single line of code by using GBQ package and read underscore CSV like we do have for the flat files. We do have read underscore GBQ. You need to pass a query, then project ID. Right. Thank you guys.